Welcome to the video guys and girls. I'm going to walk you through how to do this drill and then I'm going to walk you through a couple steps and give you a couple tips to hit the best long ball possible. As you see here, the drill we're doing, I'm inside a box with a partner with my back to goal and we have four different colors. So I'm passing the ball with my partner one touch on the ground. As soon as he says the color, I'm checking out as quickly as possible, checking my shoulder, getting outside the box, taking a touch with the front foot into the box and clipping, driving a nice ball into the goal. The goal of the drill is to hit the ball in the air and not let it bounce. The goal is to hit it so it hits the net and does not bounce. And as you'll see later in the video, I kind of do my own crossbar challenge. But now I want to give you a couple tips to hit the best long ball possible. So the first tip, your long ball should have a backspin with height and power on it so it can get to your teammate. Tip number two, your long ball needs to be weighted based on your teammate's run. It will change based if he or she is running in behind or you're just switching the point of attack. To add on to that, tip number three, the power and the height of your ball is going to be different based on how your teammate wants to receive the ball. So a ball in behind, a through ball, a diagonal ball in behind is going to be weighted differently than a clipped or a chip ball for when you're switching the ball from one side to the other. Tip number four, your plant foot should be in line with the ball and you want to have a nice lean to the left side if you're hitting the ball with your right foot and a lean to the right side if you're hitting the ball with your left foot. Tip number five, you're hitting the ball with the lace part of your foot or the toe box, which is basically near the big toe region. I always like referring to the big toe region. It's that bone where your big toe comes off of. Tip number six, when hitting the ball, make sure you have a nice strong posture. Open that chest up and really try to coordinate the arm with the leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Tip seven, your toes will be pointed down. You want to create a nice surface for that ball. So one thing I want to say, you have naturally a lot of power in your leg. Yeah. You don't even have to swing hard. I would encourage you to bend your knee more and get a little more under. Under, yeah. Not even that hard. To Tip number eight, you want to point the toes of your plant foot to the direction of your target. So if I'm trying to hit this goal, pointed directly to that target. Tip nine, when striking the ball, have a slight lean to the opposite direction and take a nice follow through. You don't have to follow through like you're striking the ball on goal. It should be actually a minimal follow through. Green. And the last tip, you need to get underneath the ball, hitting the ball in the middle of the ball. So as you see here, taking a nice left foot touch, preparing myself, getting nicely underneath the ball, and playing a nice ball into the net, following all the tips I had referred to.